Okay, welcome back to the play of Fel Burgess. Uh, this is chapter five. Something is happening. Probably Ike will die. Has no, I don't think so. Already. I could use a little food. I guess being hungry is a sign that I'm still alive. Seems a weird thing to to <laughs> think, let yeah, alone to say out loud someone to yourself. Was fire earlier in the day. There's like somebody wearing like blue Converse. <gasps> Art museum or library. I heard it was a tough decision. That was almost 100 years ago. Thanks, weirdo. He's a power walker. So this is like the first time seeing the present at yeah. night. Yeah. Looks nice. City streets. Yeah, they're all very, up. very homey. Homey? <laughs> homey. Man, it's so dark. Uh, okay, we need to make so it to the... Um, dark. If Ike wants to eat, I think we go to that bar that we burned to death in earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the... Um, the Brum. Yeah. The Brum. I'm just, uh, I'm curious, I think I can do some, uh, like a side thing, um, with Eckhart, just since I'm here. Remember he was asking if anybody wanted a cat? Oh, uh, sure. Did uh, we find somebody? Yeah, well, I think you can give a cat to Sibylla. Oh. Thus meaning that then that cat My has babies. Couldn't decide that what then to do lead to house. this, so that it's cat's its own like So these house. cats get more and more inbred. Yeah. You know what? I think that indecision is a family trait. Oh. oh, maybe we have to wait for a little bit. Did you know that uh, I'm my own great grandfather? I mean, it does I'm, make. Family reunion's weird. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool though in some ways. No looting. You know, some games try to hide their loading screens. Shout out Destiny is proud of it. Oh yeah, boast it. It's like, why not, you know? Why try to hide it? Rudolph Street. Merry Christmas, everybody. Two <laughs> days late. <laughs> but, you know, still Christmas spirit. You know, a lot of people still have their trees up. If you practice Christmas. Looking forward to New Year's. Why practice Christmas when you should perfect it? Yeah. You know, practice makes perfect. Yeah. So you need to practice Christmas in order to perfect it. But how many Christmases do you really need before you've got perfect Christmas? Seven. Okay, and I mean, if you're still practicing Christmas after seven, it's like, you know, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Says the guy in the $5,000 suit. It's dark out. Oh, I suppose we haven't died yet in this chapter. I wonder what the, um... There's fortune teller to go in. It's the fortune teller. Oh. I wonder what the, the fortune teller says about that. Former alchemist house. Welcome. Listen, will you tell my fortune again? Certainly. Well. Oh, she still knows. I wonder, could we prevent it before it even happened? Um, shoot, maybe. There's actually like a lot of different, like neat ways of subverting um, some of the stuff if you know what to do. Depending on what actions you take, if you can return, or if you've explored enough, or if you talked to enough people, jumped through enough times. 
for you the next fortune. Okay. <laughs> Focus Duck Ike. This is a weird game. It is super weird. Um, I kind of feel like it's something that deserves a like just really awesome remake that kept the broad strokes and kind of ironed out its wrinkles, <laughs> cast like real humans to be actors. Yeah. But I mean, at that point, what you kind of just rather like a new game? I don't know. I'm really attached to these characters and this, you know, this You're narrative. You're attached to Ike Kush? Yeah, I mean, kind of. Good evening. Please have a seat over there. You can get attached to new characters. What's good to eat I know. around here? Well, I'm weird. Mate's good. Hunter Grund. You don't have anything particular in mind. Well, why don't you try the special? Uh, I'll if the special is you I'll touching me, <laughs> You're gonna love this. Uh, then uh, I am so in. Given like the old Dutch reach. <laughs> it's the lively here. Alchemy has as its grail two great projects. Ooh, PS3's cooling One off. Is the synthesis of the elixir of life. That which would free mankind from all ills okay. of the body. Philosopher's Stone. The other is an amalgam, purely scientific in nature. The creation of a homunculus, an artificial life. Both require as their central ingredient a red stone. Let's get enough full metal alchemist step in here. The Philosopher's Stone. Wow, could that be... Here we shall briefly examine the life of Wolfgang Wagner, whose alchemical prowess was known throughout the region. Though born a farmer's son, he became the ward of wealthy kin after his prodigious intellect was recognized, and pursued studies in medicine and theology at university. Following this period, he seems to have made his living as an apothecary while pursuing the science of alchemy. However, what secured his lasting fame was no doubt the manner in which he met his end. Amid rumors of his engagement in an experiment of great magnitude and duration, Dr. Wagner's house was shaken by a thunderous explosion. Mm. And the alchemist What's himself going on there? was never what? seen again. It is often said that a no more fitting end could have been imagined for a magus such as he. Smooth. <laughs> Put some cocaine on there. Yeah. Hash browns. It's weird. And you recognize her. She works at the um, like tourist center in the um, town square. Oh. Where we got the the map. Oh. Weird. Get it. Oh. Hello, Ike. How are things going? Have you found anything out? That's an interesting book you have there. Hmm? You wanna look at it? <laughs> Please, don't shove that near me. Ike is so I, kind. I don't like the symbol on the cover. What, this? You don't like this pentagram kind of thing? You're a little strange. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Says Ike. Of course I am. In any case, I know the contents of that book. Dr. Wagner, who is mentioned in the book, had a daughter, and she's a very significant figure to you. What? Like, she's one of my ancestors? <laughs> Notice all the things that I, or, uh, homunculus leaves out? Uh-huh. Because of the link, whatever it is, please, don't forget the red stone. I'm looking for it, too, but I believe that you are the one who is fated to acquire it. Getting your hands on it will be a step towards avoiding your own death as well. Remember that, Ike. Remember that, Ike. Hey, I, I need more. I need more, Ike. Gone again. 
This is a really one-sided kind of relationship. Is that what you think it is, Hank? <laughs> the age this book talks about. What's the connection? <laughs> oh, am I? <laughs> Diarrhea. <laughs> Constipation. No. Abdopismal. I guess it's indigestion. Man, that stuff hit hard, huh? Yeah. Do you know what you died of? <laughs> what? It was poison, probably from a sea cat. It uses the female of a type of sea slug as the basic raw material. You can control the rapidity of the effect and the intensity of symptoms by how you blend it. I'd say that was the culprit, but you'll need to look into the details yourself. Why don't you try the library? Oops. I guess it's the art museum now. See you around. I guess it's the art museum now? What does that mean? You know who I sort of reminds me of? He reminds me of the, um, the voice actors in um, that Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer stop motion mm -hmm. cartoon. Yeah. It's like evoking a similar performance. Yeah. Cadence of like talking. Yeah, and you know, I like the voice actors in that, you know, as well. Not because it's good, but because it's um, endearing. Yeah, there's something about it. There's a je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi? <laughs> I don't know if you're clowning me here. Okay. It's kind of nice that they had put oh. those lights around that thing. My glow is full. What? Hello? Poison? I have no idea. Maybe there's a book on that. Okay, so... Okay. I'm sure you've figured out from hum Homunculus giving us the hints what we should go do to get a book from the library. Uh, go to the art museum? Yes, but when? I was just telling my mm. wife here that we should take a little break I don't know. at the bar. What do you mean? They serve oh, the time period? You right, because we just, um, Dr. De, or what's his face, from Broom? Yeah, so when he says the library, ooh, I guess, I mean, the, the new art museum or whatever, so he's not right. telling you. So, like, you know, he'd wanted, oh, I can't hold anymore. Right on. Okay, so. Right on, right on. Uh, what's my, okay, did you bad. Digipad. Digital pad. Digipad. Digital pad. Okay. I'm going to see Mr. Alfred and the others. Time travel. Um. Yeah. But I mean, I like this sort of stuff. It's uh, my favorite part of Chrono Cross. Hmm. <sighs> You know, the adventure yeah. gamey sort of using things and other things to make stuff, new things, stuff happen. I don't know. What about the things? Do you and, like also, the things? and also the things. Uh, let's see. I mean, I think we said this before, but it's like a neat way of like effectively or efficiently using a space. Like you've built your town, you've built your characters your character models, so it's like, how can you kind of cleverly change just a few assets, you know, to kind of add meat and depth to your game? Yeah, I mean, it's what we compliment constantly about those Persona like games. Yeah. Talk it over with him, will you? Decide what to do with this place. I mean, really. I mean, really. I'm still not sure, you see. Uh, you don't want to turn it into a museum? Well, I thought about that, but I've got a lot of books, too. Uh, a library wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, either, why not both? <laughs> so we need a book about the fucking sea hair so we can get the antidote. So we need it to be a library? We need it to be a library for our own needs in the present. So we can get okay, the you antidote. Help me make up my mind. A library it is. 
I know, it is sort of like an arbitrary, like, well, yeah, like, you could have both, you know? Yeah. Those aren't, like, opposites or something that you... Is she with her cat? What is it? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Just came to talk. It's a normal all. thing to do. Oh, you can go anywhere you like. That's nice. Are you think you, you have, have a bad kid? A baby, so I can't <laughs> go outside to play. Besides, father will be busy changing the house around from now on. Is it pretty boring for you here, Sibylla? Yes, just a little. Oh, don't tell father. He'll worry, you see. It's okay, I won't tell. <laughs> hey, Sibylla, do you like cats? Kittens? Yeah, I love kittens. Oh, are you gonna get me one? I know someone who might be able to help. He's probably yes, your great grandson. Really? A <laughs> okay. Okay, you just real soon. quick thought experiment. You know how there's sort of a um, kind of reincarnation in families sort of thing going on? Yeah. Uh, so, you know, there's analogs between each of these time periods. Uh, so we know uh, Broom and Eckhart. Who is Sibylla in any of these time periods? Uh-huh. Just be thinking about that. Yeah. Like the fortune teller? Uh, well, I mean, it's a little bit more on the nose, visually. Oh, okay. Like the cat? Yeah, dude. One and done. Like a mind reader. Like Dana? I'm not saying. Like homunculus? <laughs> There you go. Got it. Uh, leave a comment on who you think Sibylla is. Um, but the, it's it's not quite as simple as that because there's like three different steps involved to, to figuring it out exactly. But um, Is it built into the game to find it out or is it... Uh, yeah. Or you can figure it out. Or is it like headcanon? Only... No. It's This is... Uh, only, only in some of the playthroughs would you figure this out. So how many chapters are to this game? I don't remember. Unfortunately. Uh, okay. So we've got to head to the newly minted always been there library. Mm hmm Past the statue of Definitely Mike. was never an art museum. Never. Is that uh, Oceania has always been at war with East Asia? Mm-hmm. You don't get the reference. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oceana has always been at war with uh, Eurasia. Mm hmm. There, there's uh, some nerd out there who gets my joke. Mm hmm. <laughs> Hope I'm going the right way. Rudolph Street. Rudolph. Was once a street. Oh, I'm full of you're, you're full. You're so full right now. It's full of it. Why is it my name Brum? Hey Brum. <laughs> it's a it's a Brillo pad you use on your butt. Yeah. Is For your bum. For your bum. Brum bum. Uh, sea hair poison. The female sea hair is very poisonous. The only way to survive poisoning is by taking the antidote. Oh, really? If the person poisoned can only survive the number of days that the sea hair from uh, that the sea hair from where the poison was extracted had survived, after that time period has elapsed, that person uh, po the person poisoned will die instantaneously. Among the various antidotes, the best one is uh, that derived from the male sea hare. If this is used when one starts feeling the effect of the poison, he will soon start feeling the cur uh, curing effects. However, the poison is no longer exists in our time. It is unfortunate that we can no longer feel the effects of this antidote. 
So unfortunate. Uh, you know, you couldn't have just Googled that. You needed to go back in time and rewrite history to make this a library. 2001, bro. Hey, the internet's around. And he can jump through time. <laughs> yeah, I guess... Can, can you go to the future? Unfortunately, no. The distant future. 2005. <laughs> that distant future. That distant future. <laughs> Hi, what can I do for you? Well, I need a kitten. You can take one? Great. Well, that's just wonderful. Uh, there, take the one sleeping in that basket. She's a nice cat. I appreciate it. The cat just like freaking freaks out and scratches that cat. He's got a cat in his pocket. It would be cool if you could deliver a cat to Homunculus. <laughs> what would Homunculus do with a cat? Um. Shoot, I don't know. Do you think he'd take care of it? No. Do you think he would like live in that hellscape that Homunculus lives in? Uh, and obviously the game is suggesting that we go back here to medieval times to get the antidote. Oh, uh, okay. Um, we're gonna deliver a cat first. Yep. Uh, museum or... So here we can also change it back to a museum <laughs> if uh, we wanted. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Mm, shoot, I don't remember. I don't think so. Or at least not for anything broad strokes. That that's my favorite type of stroke. Broad. Broad one. Gotcha. Yeah, we are not on our game today. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it hurt. my back hurts people. Oh, what happened? I don't know, it just like hurts. Did you try to skateboard again? Uh, no, unfortunately not, no. Um, I think it's just like, we did a big recording sesh yesterday, and the chairs that we sit on are actually not chairs at all, they're, they're footstools. <laughs> and there's, of course, no back support, so just like, your back starts hurting. <laughs> I'm glad that ec this, this brum is just really? so easy to manipulate, right. so fucking wishy-washy. <laughs> I guess you're right. Why can't you just say like a cat sanctuary? Oh, dude. You've got a, kitten, a cat right? cafe? Show me, yeah. please. I can fetch the cat cafe. Oh, she's so soft. Can I really no. have her? I just, this is a I joke. Promised, didn't I? Make sure you give her lots of love. Hooray! Damn, if only you. she had a, like a small living thing that. You know, she had to spend time with. Oh, wait, there's that baby. <laughs> no, the baby... Uh, who, yeah, who is taking care of the baby right now? She is. I think the baby's in here somewhere. No. Where's the crib? Hmm. Anyway. All right, let's go back. Go back to... Uh, the past. Ancient Rome. Okay, and it also says four years have passed since I first came here to the medieval, medieval times. Oh, okay. So that should be interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't pay attention, Sibla. <laughs> yeah, I know. How weird is that? Uh, Ike? <laughs> <laughs> Ike just exploded. <laughs> yeah, these chapters get pretty involved. Hey, it's a little bit more colorful this time, isn't it? Maybe just because it's day. Yeah. Oh. She said her father did research. He may be this Dr. Wagner. They may have some sort of a link okay. to me. No, no, it's too dangerous. Don't get too near that house. There was an explosion just now. What with him dabbling in da that side? Oh, I thought it said dabbing. <laughs> Go 
God sent his judgment down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People were brutal back then. Uh, is, the, is this Dr. Wagner's house? Oh, so you knew him, did you? Well, anyway, you best not stick your nose in. Or you'll Wait, this is four years you. later? Wasn't that kid the no. same age? No. Four years ago? No. Absolutely not. Okay. So, this was Dr. Wagner's place. You couldn't tell. They were appropriately aged up four years. What? What is that? Burr? Burr. So, Black Dog, keeping you from going in places. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And the Alchemist House of all places. Yeah. yeah. Think about it. This is cozy. Yeah. It's probably my favorite ta time period for the town so far. No. Nope. Haven't we met before? Kind of looks like Suicon 3. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it a little bit. Does it have the same engine or? I don't know if there was a, like some proprietary Konami tech going on. Uh, I do know that this was running on the Silent Hill 2 engine. That, yeah. That they at least shared tech between those two games. Oh. Because I'd read an article about it. Um, so and like you can see that the, the town is actually functionally smaller because we'd have to go through this gate to go to the Squire's Manor which is Eckhart's house oh okay makes sense What? Looking Usually. for meat? Hey, you're kind of cute. I'll tell you what. You can have the scrap meat over there for free. Just remember that there's nothing quite like offering free, scrap meat. Free scrap meat that we put in our pocket and carry around. <laughs> Where is it? That we got it, I think. Did we? I thought it said you acquired it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there it is. So we can give that to the dog, I presume? Yes. I'm just gonna poke around just a little bit more. Here we go. Rudolph Street. Yep. And the, those paintings uh, hanging in the art museum in the present done by this guy. Oh. This loser. Hmm? What do you want? Well, uh, nothing in particular. All right, then. I'll start by introducing myself. I am the painter Carl Franson. And you? You don't look like someone seeking an apprenticeship. I could. <laughs> well, I cush. Have you heard anything nope. interesting lately? Well, etc. Um, oh, you know the squares medallion, the dog, you know, etc. <laughs> and the thing is, is once you tell him about these ideas, then you can go to the art museum and look at the the new things he's painted oh, okay. based on stuff Ike is telling him about. So that's a reason to change the museum back or the um, oh, okay. it back to museum. Oh, I heard that too recently. I honestly did. Perhaps I'll try painting a piece on that very subject. Mm. So I mean, it, it you know it's a fun little thing that doesn't yeah affect anything too greatly, other than it's neat that they put it in. Okay. Would you rather go back to 1584 or 1902? Ah. Uh, Sure. Where in the world? Here. Uh. I say, 
Something sure smells good around here. Uh, why? Thanks, buddy. Um, I know. What about you? I don't know. Nineteen oh two. Ooh, the church. The church. Hmm. Was there ever anything in the church? No. Either it was intended to be, you know, added, or, you know, they just like the idea of having a lot of places you can go and explore. Digital tourism style. Okay. Digi tourism, as we call it. Digi tourism. Digital tourism. Okay. Well, let's go give this dog our meat. Pretty good looking kind of meat. <laughs> it's that, just, I don't know, that dog seems real sick. And then it just like slowly walks away? Yeah, I don't know. That was weird. Poor buddy. Move so slow. That was like a weird adventure game moment. <laughs> yeah. Oh, homunculus. Who am I? <laughs> so you can pretty much guess what yeah. that means. Yeah. The creation of homun homunculus Homun just happened. Homunculus. What about in that other door? No? Okay. Nope. Nothing. Nada. Okay. So do we get our antidote? Uh, no, not yet. So here's the uh, uh, same time period, but slightly a couple days earlier. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna ask the alchemist about the antidote. I assume. I mean, I know this for sure. But I mean, that's what you'd be thinking, right? Yeah, I mean, something about her father. Yeah. Yeah, you need some old timey antidote that doesn't exist anymore. Teasing the alchemists for so long. Oh, it's not. It's a, it's a miracle. Or is it rain? I, I think it's snow. Oh, okay. In uh, May? What? What the? It's like May 24th. Hey! Everyone says your pa's doing weird experiments. I, I heard that she goes fine. Remember when people used to say this about Dad? Mm hmm. That isn't true. He isn't doing anything like that. And your sister dresses like a hey. harlot. Isn't that because the devil provides for her? You know that's not true. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ. Like a lamb for offering, a sacrifice. You, take that back. Don't you dare say stuff like that about my mother. Well, the kid sucks at punching. Hey, Hugo's mad again. Violence won't solve anything. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> Why? Why is that guy running like that? Stick up his ass? That was, that was just embarrassing. Yeah. Everything of w featuring Hugo is, is weird and off putting. Oh, we can go in here. Oh, and I see, I was asking earlier about, like, your death time. I guess it shows your the time currently going in the present. 
So that's why it's your, your faded hour and your original time. I see. What do you want? A city map? I ain't got one. Move along now. Why would Ike be asking about a city map? We have one. I don't know, dude. I mean, I guess you wouldn't have had to get a city map right at the beginning when I did. Yeah. Uh, so maybe that would be the hint to go to a different time to get one. Um, I mean, there are other places we can go, but let's, uh, let's pull the trigger on this. This episode's going to be long anyway. Glowy, yum, yum. Did you know that the Germans uh, hadn't figured out round wheels? Yeah, that, the, you know, when they say, like, the wheel, like, this is the greatest invention since the wheel. Yeah. I guess they say since sliced bread, but the wheel is also a great one. That didn't happen until, like, 1593. I mean, that sounds legit to me. Punk around their house. the room with the urinal in it? Yep. What? It's a room with the urinal in it. What urinal? Oh, like that weird spigot thing. Yeah. I do wonder what that's supposed to be. Water. Oh, wow. Like faucet. They have running water? Yep. Badass. So, I mean, it's a fancy house, man. Yeah, he's doing well for himself. I mean, the only thing that could really ruin this place is, like, some demon homunculus creature, but, you know. What are the odds of that ever happening? I mean, unfreaking likely. I mean, it did happen once to this guy I knew. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know. But, yeah, that guy, you know, that's not important. Vegas odds would bet that there's no homunculus that's going to burn down this guy's house. Is that you, Hugo? No, I'm... <laughs> ah. Whoever you are, I want you out. How did you get in here? Look, excuse me, That's but what people said to the voice actor after playing Ike. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that is correct. Wow, say, is that for your research into the homunculus? Someone has been telling you things you ought not to know. Is it Hugo? Uh, but of course, I don't think I've told him yet. No, it, it wasn't. Call, well, call it a hunch. <laughs> it's a great hunch. A hunch. Well, if you say so. Excuse me, but I must ask you to leave now. And if you can, forget about what you saw in this room, please. Like, what would he Are be cooking? Are you by any chance looking for the Philosopher's Stone? What did you say? You mean that you have it? Well, no, I, I don't know if it's the one, but I have seen a stone, a red stone. Ah, should you gain possession of it, allow me a small amount. I beg of you, please. <laughs> oh, what a weird alchemist. Oh, yeah, he was so into it, and then he's like, um, you know, back to my soup. <laughs> yeah. He's a soup Nazi. <laughs> if the homunculus can be completed, it will prove my theory is correct. If only I had the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, dude. Get a server antidote. Oh, who are you? Hi. Sorry if I startled you. Aren't you the one from... Uh, I think you were looking for someone, weren't you? Quite a while ago. It's been some time. Did you find whoever it was? No, not yet. <laughs> She's just been living here for four years? Hasn't it been yep. crazy. Two years? Well, I tried finding her too. Afterwards. But I didn't have any luck. I'm sorry. 
But a lot happened to us right after you came. Mother passed away, you know. Oh, yes. Hugo's still at school. He started this year, and he's gotten serious about learning. Kids at school are really nice to him, I think. I think following our father's footsteps. But I shouldn't just make you listen to me talking. I'm sorry. So, what brings you here today? Is there something around here called a, a sea hair antidote? What? What's the matter? Why do you need something like that? Uh, well... <laughs> it's here on the shelf. <clears throat> Help yourself. Wow, I that's convenient. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Didn't have to jump through a hoop for anything. Is she my ancestress? What? What? Do I have something on my face? <laughs> oh, sorry. She's so I mean, hot. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I guess I'll be going now. Great, 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 great grandma. You're going already? Why don't you just stay a while? You can tell me about the future and things. Please. So everyone thinks I'm from the future after all. Well, Hugo's the only one who says so, and nobody else believes him. Why would you believe Hugo? Except me, that is. It's more interesting that way, don't you think? So tell me, what is it like in your time? Hmm. Lame. Uh, okay then. <laughs> Good. Oh, I have some things to deliver, so I'll walk with you. I do think it's funny the idea of like her asking about the future, and Ike's like tells her something that's really irrelevant to her, like uh, the Bears will win or the Chicago Cubs will win the World Series. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, oh. Uh, yeah, file that away for later. Yeah. In my time, yeah, you know, you're gonna want to bet on the Cubs. Yes, and Well, I met Mr. Eckert's great grandfather about a hundred years in the past. And you won't believe how alike they look. The face and hair. Well, they're both pretty young, but the hair. <laughs> <laughs> you mean a little thin, maybe like the squires? And I mean in the same way. You know, on the top. <laughs> I guess that sort of thing is in the blood. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, they both had a daughter. Oh. What is it? Well, Mr. Eckert said his daughter. She's gone. You mean something happened to her? Yeah, a, a crime of some sort. But like 20 years ago. And the funny thing is, it seems like he's still waiting for her to come back. I see. I guess that happens. It's like Hugo not being able to forget Mother. Family ties are strong, aren't they? No, not really. Say, it's gotten dark already. Sorry if I've kept you. Not at all. I enjoyed the conversation. Oh, here we are. Will you wait a second? I mean, that had to have been like a two-minute walk, tops, right? Yeah, like how long does it get take to get across town? Dana? Dana? <laughs> Nani? It's just that she looked like her. That girl you've been looking for? Yes, but I lost sight of her. Maybe it wasn't even her. Well, I need to go home now. Is that all right? Of course. No. 
Uh-oh. I love how Kurt Ching okay. immediately gets this right. person she doesn't know. <laughs> so you're talking about another woman. What about what we had? I, well, that really lovely conversation? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the things you've told me. Not that anyone would believe me anyway. Thank you. It would be better if you could. I don't think I should be leaving anything behind in this age. Not just actual things, but talking about stuff too, like I just did. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Well, Eggs. like freakish spider I arms. Kill someone <laughs> in this age. That's a terrible thing to say. Oh, bad example. Well, anyway, can that love person were supposed really to bloom live till a hundred on Rudolph and Street? Lots of kids and grandkids. But if I interfere no. with his life at this point, those kids and grandkids will never be born, and all their descendants in my time will just disappear. Do you get that? In your tiny yes, pea brain. <laughs> I think so. You harlot. So the more I interfere with the past, the more the future will change. It may not be as serious as that example I just used, but anything I do here could affect the future. You're just now figuring that out, Ike. <laughs> yeah, we've already like changed the library back and I forth don't a couple times. Understand yet? But I'll sleep on it. Your age is very interesting to me. I wish I could see it. It's nothing exciting. Kind of boring, really. <laughs> <laughs> but I still want to see like it's just side. a dull word. Yeah, why, he is. But I feel such a strong pull towards it. Won't you take me to your time? No, I, I can't do that. It's not possible. The future will change. After all, you're my... Huh? You're what? Okay, so... um, You know, partially this is... What has gotten I thinking about this is what a uh, homunculus didn't say. Uh-huh. Was being really coy about this. Uh, whether Margaret is uh, Ike's an uh, ancestor. Uh-huh. So, I mean, it's what do you believe going forward? And this is one of those, like, fulcrum points. For changing the ending? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's a couple of them coming up that, that spin off and create different variations. But uh, this is the first. The first major one. Okay. Well, you lead us to the true path, Joe. Okay, well, the thing is, like, I know Homunculus is full of shit, and he's full of a bunch of half-truths and horse crap, so um, I'm not going to tell that to Margaret. Okay. It also would be uh, like... Nothing. feel like it would change the, you know... <laughs> like, it would be a weird thing to go and tell to somebody, because then they would be like, oh, so I'm going to have, like, a kid, you know? And I don't know, it would just be weird. Nothing important. So I guess giving it twice there just to make sure that you realize yeah, that that's one. That Each of the big ones coincidence. you have to you have to say twice. Oh, okay. I was just joking about coming along with you. That would change the future, wouldn't it? Probably. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but it's okay. Really. You'll come over again, won't you? And tell me other interesting things. I will. Oh, except your house blows up we'll in four days. <laughs> um, ooh, should I set that? Sorry. Oh, Hugo. Oh, this is about to get weirder. <laughs> Why do no, I want to beat I up Hugo all of a sudden? I didn't mean to be a snoop, but it didn't seem like I could just walk in. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. Oh, for heaven's sake. You could have just come in. Hugo's got weird ears. Tackle. After all, sis. That's quite all right. <laughs> She's spazzing out. Oh, What's going on? <laughs> what? Are you still, None? you know, mother's lock of hair? Whoa. What? What? I know how much you miss mother, but you can't carry that thing around forever. Sh shut up! What do you mean, that thing? 
How could you say something like that? It's not as though I'm doing anything wrong. <laughs> He's a mini Hulk. I'm sorry, that didn't come out quite. You wouldn't right. like me when I'm angry. You're the one who's being weird, changing the subject as soon as it gets a little thorny. God. Hello. Shut up. <laughs> It's your fault. You ought to know that. Hey, Hugo. Hugo. What? I can't be disturbed. I know. Why doesn't your dad love you I anymore? I, I should get going. Because I'm a stupid little brat, that's why. <laughs> I'm sorry it was so hectic around here. He's always like this. I just can't do a thing with him once he gets upset. So I just leave him alone when he's this way. Hey, sis. Are you sure you just want to let him go like this? Oh, stop that, Hugo. I guess, like, beyond dull. <laughs> well, uh, here. Will you take it? Consider it a token of appreciation. I forget what it, oh, it's a hairbrush. For all the stories you told me. And something to remember today by. Good job, sis. Hugo, stop eavesdropping. It's hard to riff on these scenes. Thank you, Margaret. And not See talk you. over with the dialogue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got a comb. Great. This is a long fucking chapter. Alright. We're okay. ready. Alright. Let's do it. Let's pull, the, pull the off this band-aid and finish up this chapter. Let's do it. You know what's crazy is like... This idea of like alchemy and trying to create... Like this sort of human from... It kind of like nothing, I guess, like with a homunculus. Okay. Like, it's kind of weird because, like, now, you know, there's like with like a strand of DNA, you could theoretically create like a clone of somebody, right? You know, from like essentially nothing. Right. So it's like, you know, some of those same like desires of alchemy are being like oh. still pursued today. Oh yeah, like um, actually, Whoa, Ike, you all right, bud? Um, this these molecular scientists had uh, actually changed lead into gold for that very purpose. Uh huh. I mean, it was very very expensive to do, like you know, changing atoms of lead into atoms of gold by changing the number of electrons and uh -huh. stuff. you know, it's like. I mean, it was just a just a you know. That it was possible. Yeah. But however, like, improper or, like, insanely expensive. Oh, no, that was urine. <gasps> yep, that was uh, the urine of the sea hair. He just chucks it behind him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't need this. Oh God! What an episode. Okay, everybody. Sorry that was that was a long one. Hey, fifty minutes. That's all right. Fifty. Okay. Uh, well, do you have any idea where it's going from here? Uh, I think Ike's gonna die again. I think Homunculus is gonna be a d bag and say some cryptic information. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna go back in time, find some more useless junk to. Prevent our death. And what about Hugo? Yeah. Uh, I think Hugo is going to uh, be bullied some more <laughs> until he becomes even more annoying. Okay, that's dude. Pretty dude. perceptive. Yeah. Very, very. I could write this stuff, man. Okay. Uh, we love you, everybody. Oh, did I just say love? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> And uh, we hope to see you next Thursday for another play of El Purchase. Uh, yeah. Bye, everybody. <laughs>